2022 is our year of full restoration. Full. The word is full. The key word here is F-U-L-L. So this year is our year of full restoration. And I want to explain to you very briefly what it means. I want to begin by saying thanks to God who brought us into this year. Amen. 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 I want to say thanks be to God who did not allow us to end and to go away with last year. Yes. If the devil knew what God planned to do in our life this year, he would have done more to make sure we don't see this year. But thank God we are here. Amen. I say thank God we are here. Amen. Thank God we are here. Amen. John can say, Father, thank you for we are here. Thank you, Father, we are here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we give God our Abba Father all the glory for the past years, particularly for the year 2021. If it has not been for the Lord on our side, I don't know what to think, but I know we'll not be here right now. Yes, sir. I don't know. So to him alone who is a great God, be all the glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The year 2022 is here. Amen. Amen. And you are here. Yes, sir. And God is here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. This year is here. You are here and God is here. Amen. That's all. It will be the most amazing year we have ever seen. Amen. What eyes have not seen, nor ears, head. No, what any heart of no man has ever conceived, we shall handle this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Why? Because the Lord who is here with us this year will amaze us. Amen. And amaze all our enemies and mockers. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As the Lord lives and remains the Almighty, we are going to experience almighty wonders this year. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. As the Lord lives and remains the Almighty, we shall experience almighty happenings this year. Amen. We will emerge living wonders and signs this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All that people will share our testimonies this year. Amen. And I mean worldwide. Amen. <laughs> you didn't hear me. I say worldwide. Amen. Yes, sir. People will share our testimonies worldwide this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Watch out. We have just entered into a new era. Amen. An era of miracles, wonders, and signs. Amen. As never seen before. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen to me, everyone. No matter what the world goes through this year, because the people of the world will go through times of more difficulty to humble the proud and the arrogant. But no matter what they go through, we will only watch and see with our eyes what they go through. Exactly. We shall never experience any of them. Amen. <laughs> Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Never. It will never come near us. Amen. Their pain, their anguish will never come near us. Amen. Because of their pride and arrogance that makes them to shun God. As we focus on God and hold on to God this year, why they are going there, we shall be rising. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All our adversaries, all our foes, all our enemies, God will cut them off from us this year. Amen. We read this morning that God separated darkness from light. We are the light of the world. Darkness will not be seen around us this year. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Darkness will not be seen around you this year. Amen. Evil will not be seen around us this year. Amen. Cruelty will not be seen around us this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All that belongs to us, taken by the devil or by anyone, the ones we lost, God will restore to us in full this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. What does the word fool mean? F U L L. What does it mean? I want to give you the meaning of the word full restoration because you need to understand it in perspective. In perspective. What does the word full mean? The word full means filled to capacity. Filled
filled to capacity. As a person, God will fill you up to capacity. Amen. You know, we are told that those who are using their brain well have only used about 11% of their mental capacity. This year, God will fill your brain up. Amen. Oh, you hear me? God will fill your mind to capacity. Amen. We saw that God formed man and put his breath into his nostril and man became, became a living soul. And God brought all he made to Adam to see what Adam will call what God made. And Adam named everything as God will name them. Adam was filled to capacity. <laughs> Hear me, full restoration means God will restore you mentally to, to capacity. Amen. Spiritually to capacity. Amen. Physically to capacity. Amen. Sickness, weakness will go from you this year. Amen. So when you see something is full, it means it is filled to capacity. You see, capacity is a dangerous word. It means you are given all you need to operate top notch. A car, a car is supposed to run 200 miles per hour. But because of bad road in, in, in here, they can run for <laughs> what is it, 80 kilometers by road. They run at maybe one kilometer per hour. Go to Amansi and see how the road is. Which vehicle move fast? Vehicles move 10 kilometers per hour. That's their moving fast. Some move less than 10 kilometers per hour. But their vehicles built to run 200 kilometers or 200 miles per hour. Kilometers per hour. They have the capacity for the limiting factors. When you are operating at full capacity, you are operating in God's class. This year, that shall be your story. Amen. So whatever God will put inside of you to make you operate in full capacity, God will put that into you this year. Amen. That is what is about full restoration. Adam sinned and all fell from God's glory. When you are restored to full capacity, you will, you will show the world God's glory. Amen. <laughs> that shall be our story this year. Amen. So, the word full means filled to capacity. Holding as much or as many as possible. As is possible. That's the word. That's the meaning. Number two, full means with much or many. Having a large, a large amount or number of something, it means with much or with many. Full, that's all. With much or with many. In other words, having a large amount or number of something. When you are full of money, huh? You will operate like a billionaire. That's what we are entering this year. You have much grace, much glory, much power. There is no assignment that God will give you that you go and pray, pray, God, what do I do? The Adam never prayed once. Are you hearing me? In Genesis 1 and 2, Adam never prayed. Even in chapter 3, there was no prayer. Only in chapter 4. In chapter 4, after Abel was born, after Seth was born, Abel was killed and Seth was born. That was when prayer began. When you pray, does God pray? Have you said that God prayed? No, sir. When you are restored to full capacity, you operate in God's class. Whatever you need to do, you have all you need to do it. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. That's what I'm trying to show you. When you are, when, this year, God will amaze us. Soon. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah. This year, God will amaze us. Amen. God will restore your life to full capacity. Amen. As a student, you will be giving your teacher's assignment. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, I believe you, sir. I believe you, And sir. I receive it. I receive it. It's my portion. It's my portion. By your word, you say you have made me wiser than my teachers. I have more understanding than my teachers. I have more knowledge than the ancients. When God restores you to full capacity, you become a living word anywhere you go. Yes, sir. Yes, I've done an exam and it's called A1. If there's 
anything more than A1, you will score that. Amen. <laughs> if A1 is 80 or 70 percent, and that's what the girl scored, you are going to score above 90. Amen. In every subject. Amen. That is, they wouldn't have to be any from you. <laughs> that's your new level from now. Amen. Tell that I receive it. I Come receive on. It. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I believe and I receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. All I'm here to do is to let you understand this to operate in full capacity, full restoration. God wants to bring us into a, a realm where we are people who see God. That's what ambassadors are. Ambassadors. When, when Jesus Christ appeared, he said, if you want to see God, see me. Are you hearing me? Jesus was operating in full capacity. John chapter 12, verse 45. He says, whoever sees me, sees God. Ah, look at that. In John 14, 9, he said, he that had seen me had seen God. That means if you want to see God for anything, Come and see me, and you will see God. Full restoration. That is the realm that you, and you, and you, and you, and me, Amen. will operate from today. Amen. Receive it again. Amen. I believe it, I receive it. I, it. I will operate in full capacity. I believe it, I receive it. I believe it I receive it. I will operate in full capacity. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what we are going to do. Having much or many, all you need in you. Oh, you need anointing to raise the dead. You're not praying. Christ came to where Lazarus was dead and buried. He didn't, he didn't cry. He didn't pray. He said, Lazarus, but I thank you for hearing me always. Lazarus, now come out. <laughs> he that was dead and buried. Smell the decomposing came out bound, bound hand and foot, but he came out. Jesus didn't pray to bring him out. Listen to me, you are going to get results without stress. Amen. Oh, I wish I wish you were awake. I say you are going to get results without stress. Amen. You are going to get results without sweat. Amen. Adam didn't pray to name every creature. Adam did not grow weak to name everything. When Adam saw the wife, he knew this one came from me. Even though he slept, in his sleep, he knew this one was taken from him. When he woke up, there was no scar. Yet he knew, said, for this one was taken out of man. How did he know, sir? God made him sleep a deep sleep. When you sleep, do you know anything? No. But he was meant to sleep a deep sleep. Yet when he woke up, and so he said, this one is, shall be called woman, because she was taken from man. Listen to me. You are going to operate in a realm of wisdom that will make you an amazement to your world. Amen. You are going to be doing things and saying things that people will look at you and be wondering, who is this person? Amen. That shall be your this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What men will find very difficult to understand, you will not happen with this. Amen. A king dreamed and forgot. Daniel came and said, I will tell you your dream and the meaning. And he did. The son had saw a hand that came to write. He wasn't there. Nobody knew. He came there and said, this was what was written. This is the meaning. Listen to me and hear me very well. This year and from this year, what the great can't understand, you will unravel with ease. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any book you pick to read, you will understand what is there. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Talking about full resurrection, when you are fully restored, you will pray in God's class. Number three, what is the meaning of full? Greatest in extent. Greatest in extent. Greatest in extent. Greatest in extent. Or being the highest, being at the highest degree or largest extent. Greatest in extent. 
That means there's no, there's no, there's no, there's nothing that can be added. There's no other thing. There's no other position you can ever attain. <laughs> Greatest in extent. Being at the highest degree or largest extent. That is full restoration. So this year, expect God to bring you to the greatest point He has for you. Amen. In every of life. Amen. In your health, in your in your in your strength, in power, in wisdom, in every of life. May God bring you to this extent in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number four for Tesla we run. He says to be full means with nothing missing. Full restoration means with nothing. Full, full, the word full means with nothing missing. With nothing or nobody left out or missing. With nothing missing. With nothing missing. With nothing missing. This year, hear me everywhere. You will operate at the realm of with nothing missing. Amen. <laughs> I pray you understand what I'm saying. This year you shall operate at that realm of having nothing missing in your life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's like you are tired now. I pray you understand this. Maybe I will stop there. I will give you the other meanings as maybe tomorrow in service. <laughs> the others I will tell you. What does the word restoration mean? Restoration means restoring of something removed. Bringing back, returning something that was removed. Bringing back, returning or restoring of something that was removed. So whatever was removed from your life, from this family, from anything that has to do with you this year, God will bring them back in full. Amen. Number two, it means restoring of something to its former condition. Restoring of something to a former condition. Returning something to a former condition. What's the matter? Returning something to a former condition. First one was the restoring of something removed. What was removed? Restoring that. That's restoration, returning that. Now again, it means restoring or returning something to a former condition. In the beginning, God made man like himself. Sin made man lose that. Now we are saying that this year God will return to the former condition God made man in the beginning. Amen. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing. I think that's enough. So if you talk about full restoration, we're talking about God getting back completely to you all you have, all, you, all He has prepared for you with nothing missing. God returning to you all He has prepared for you with nothing missing. May that be your story this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May that be our story this year. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. I say may that be our story this year. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Now what are we to expect God to restore to us in full? What are we to expect God to give back to us in full? Number one, all that the devil stole from mankind all that the devil stole from man all that the devil stole from man number two i will explain this in detail later number two all that jesus christ died to restore to man all that jesus christ died to restore to man number three all that the holy ghost came to restore to mankind all that the holy ghost came to restore to mankind and number four, finally, all that the Lord gave to us by His Spirit. All that the Lord gave us by His Spirit to experience in this life. These are the four things you must expect. And I'm going to explain them in details tomorrow and from tomorrow on, all through this month. You will see them come back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. What must we do to see this full restoration. Number one, believe what the Lord has said. Believe. Believe. Believe what God has said. Number two, give thanks and praises 
to prove you believe the word of God. Give thanks and praises to prove you believe the word of God. Number three, hear his word and do whatever he says all through this year. Hear the word of God and do all he says all through this year. Hear the word of God and do what he says all through this year. And number four, keep your expectation red hot. Keep your expectation red hot. Keep your expectation red hot. Find number five, never stop praising the Lord all through the year. Never stop praising the Lord all through this year. Amen. Amen. Never do what? Never stop praising the Lord. Jesus gave thanks while Lazarus, his friend, was in the grave and he came out. Mary gave God praise when she was told she would give birth to Christ and she gave birth. As we praise God, beginning from this month, we are going to experience unusual unusual restorations in its fullness in Jesus mighty name Amen. and so shall it be Amen. just thank him again father thank you I believe you that it shall be so for me this year I believe you there will be full restoration this year there will be full restoration this year I will be restored in full this year I will be restored in full this year no power will stop my full restoration this year. No power. No body. No being. My full restoration is in place and I mean that I receive it. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible said, Blessed is she or he that believes. Once you believe, there shall be a performance and the proof of faith is praise. So this month of January, the heavenly world focus is full restoration by faith praise. Hallelujah. Full restoration by faith praise. All through this month, we are going to be declared, I'm declaring it already, 31 days of faith praise. Beginning from today, January is our Month of full restoration by what? By faith, praise. The God who restores operates when there is where there is praise. The God who is our restorer, who will restore, He works when His people praise Him. As others shall be fasting and praying, we shall be feasting and praising. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to fast and pray, it's no, there's no qualms. But know that this, this month is a month of full restoration by faith praise. Amen. Amen. So get ready. Amen. We are going to make God glad. Amen. And we are going to make the devil mad. Amen. Beginning from today, right now we are going to sing five, five, preach five, 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 what I'll say. Right now we are going to take time to praise God. This is our month of full restoration by what? Faith praise. What is faith praise? Praising God for what he has said. Are you hearing me? If God says this is what he will do, I will show you what he will do. I have not told you that at all. But I just said it's, it's going to be full restoration. That's the main thing. What God says he will do in our lives, full restoration with nothing missing to the greatest extent this year we shall see them happen in our, in our lives. Amen. The same God who spoke to Mary and there was no man to help God bring to pass his word and he did it. The God who used Jesus Christ to bring us out of the grave without any man seeing you. He didn't say go and carry him out. No. This year as we believe him and praise him this particular month there will be eruptions. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Father thank you. Blessed be your name. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 